James Gleason, a significant figure in the film world, has left a lasting impression with his qualities. His work as an actor has made him a symbol of the industry's strength and talent. His memorable acting and many roles have won him a place in the hearts of audiences. Whether it's his comedic talent or his ability to play different characters, his work still connects with people worldwide. His influence on movies is clear and his memory lives on through the lives he's touched with his acting. Do you have a special memory connected to him? Share your stories and memories below and keep watching for more insights into his life and career. James Gleason was an actor known for his work in several classic films. He had a knack for portraying characters that were both memorable and engaging, contributing significantly to the success of many movies throughout his career. For those new to his work, a few films stand out as must-watch examples of his talent. One of the most notable movies in his filmography is Here Comes Mr. Jordan. In this film, he plays a key role that showcases his ability to blend humor with a touch of seriousness, making the movie a classic in the fantasy and comedy genres. His performance is essential to the film's charm and wit, making it a great starting point for viewers unfamiliar with his work. Another significant movie is The Bishop's Wife, where he supports the main cast with his distinctive style, contributing to the film's warm and uplifting story. His role adds depth to the narrative, demonstrating his versatility as an actor. This movie is perfect for those looking to see him in a more light-hearted yet impactful role. For fans of drama and war films, The Fighting 69th is a must-watch. In this movie, he delivers a powerful performance that captures the bravery and complexities of soldiers during wartime. His character is well-developed, and he brings a genuine sense of authenticity to the film, making it a compelling watch for anyone interested in historical or military themes. Lastly, Arsenic and Old Lace offers a glimpse into his ability to handle comedy with ease. His timing and expressions contribute significantly to the humor and eccentricity of the movie, making it an unforgettable experience for viewers. This film is highly recomplimented for those who enjoy a mix of dark comedy and slapstick. In Sumulantarary, James Gleason's filmography includes a variety of films that highlight his talent in different genres. From comedy to drama, his performances were integral to the movies mentioned above. For newcomers to his work, these films provide a great introduction to his abilities as an actor and are sure to entertain a wide range of audiences. In the film world, James Gleason, known as Michael Lindsay's grandfather, made a significant impact. In the Broadway melody, he portrayed a music publisher and his company, Gleason Music Publishing Company, depicted him as its owner. The pianist accompanying Charles King in the movie was actually the film's composer, Nacio Herb Brown. He was involved in three Oscar Best Picture nominees, The Broadway Melody, Here Comes Mr. Jordan, and The Bishop's Wife. The first of these movies won the award. His involvement in films like these shows his importance in entertainment history. His work went beyond acting, he also brought authenticity and depth to his roles, leaving a lasting impression on each project he took on. From his portrayal of the shrewd music publisher to his nuanced characters in other films, his versatility and talent were undeniable. His presence on screen added complexity and richness to the stories, captivating audiences and earning him widespread acclaim. Through his dedication and passion for his craft, he left a lasting impact on the golden age of Hollywood. His performances continue to inspire generations of actors and film lantrakers who follow Wood in his footsteps. His timeless performances serve as a tribute to his influence on the art of cinema. Indeed, James Gleason's significant role in the film industry remains an integral part of its history. In The Bishop's Wife, James Gleason played Sylvester the cab driver while he portrayed Uncle Bertie Steptoe in The Night of the Hunter. Additionally, he took on the role of Max Corkle in Down to Earth. Gleason shared the screen with Cary Grant in Arsenic and Old Lace three years before featuring in The Bishop's Wife. Notably, Emmeline Trid Lynn initially played Bertie Steptoe in The Night of the Hunter, but director Charles Lawton replaced him with Gleason and reshot all of Lynn's scenes. In Down to Earth, he reprised the character Max Corkle, originally portrayed in Here Comes Mr. Jordan, a film directed by Alexander Hall and later remade as Heaven Can Wait. Gleason's versatility as an actor allowed him to seamlessly transition between different roles, leaving a lasting impact on each character. In Here Comes Mr. Jordan, he played Max Corkle so well that he got nominated for an Oscar. This showed would how good he was at acting. Later, Jack Warden also got praised for playing Max Corkle in Heaven Can Wait. 
He was great in a free soul alongside other famous actors. He did a good job and added to the film's success. James Gleason didn't just act in movies. He also did radio shows. He played Max Corkle again in a radio version of Here Comes Mr. Jordan. He showed Woody was good at acting on the radio too, alongside other actors. In all his roles, James Gleason made a big impact. He made the world of entertainment better with his talent and hard work. People still remember and admire him for it. This was, he is remembered for his memorable portrayal of Uncle Bertie Steptoe in The Night of the Hunter. James Gleason appeared alongside the legendary Charles Lawton in Tales of Manhattan in 1942. Notably, his acting skills weren't just passed down. He was the son of the famous actress Mina Gleason. His role on Leave it to Beaver was a significant moment in his career as he became the oldest actor to appear on the show. Gleason's various characters, including Uncle Bertie, deeply connected with audiences, leaving a lasting impression on the film industry. His influence continues to inspire aspiring actors and film filmmakers alike. This piece was during filming, James Gleason, known for his role as Eddie in A Free Soul, had an unexpected moment when a mule knocked him down. This incident, which wasn't planned, made the scene feel real, especially with Norma Shearer's genuine reaction. He was versatile, not just on screen, but also serving in the Spanish-American War of 1898 and World War I. In Blondie of the Follies, he played Pond alongside Zezu Pitts as Gertie, who was only three years older than Marion Davies, even though she played her older sister. Sarah Peden, portraying their mother, was merely 13 years older than Zezu. Despite their age differences, the cast delivered memorable performances, with Gleason's portrayal adding depth to the family's dynamic. Throughout his career, he showed with dedication to his craft, whether facing unexpected challenges on set or embodying various characters with authenticity and skill. His impact on the entertainment industry remains significant, leaving a lasting impression on audiences worldwide. James Gleason, recognized for his roles in various films, starred alongside his wife, Lucille Gleason, in 17 movies. In Arsenic and Old Lace, he played Police Lieutenant Rooney alongside Cary Grant. Another notable film featuring him is Here Comes Mr. Jordan, where he portrayed Max Corkle. Interestingly, some concepts from this movie were reused in Down to Earth, a sort of sequel, with Edward Everett Horton and Gleason reprising their roles. His versatility as an actor allowed him to take on a variety of characters, from law enforcement officers to comedic sidekicks. His collaborations with other well-known actors like Cary Grant left a lasting impact on audiences. James Gleason, a New York City native, was very versatile. He almost got the part of Hope Along Cassidy, famously played by William Boyd. Even though he missed that chance, he made a big impact in Hollywood with different roles. One of his famous roles was Police Lieutenant Rooney in the classic movie Arsenic and Old Lace. He had a real New York accent, which audiences loved. Besides acting, he also did a lot for the Catholic Motion Picture Guild of America. He was the vice president there, working with other important people. Gleason was liked by both audiences and colleagues because of his many talents and how much he cared about his work. His contributions to cinema will be remembered for a long time.